Hi, I'm Chris Paul, and you're watching HoopJab.com. You would uh, call Austin's mom to, to, if you needed to to help with him. Yeah. Um, do you anticipate it being uh, you know tough to get him to come back? Well, I think they all want to come back, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but, you know, they've all played well. Mm -hmm. And so they've all made it um, more difficult. But uh, we're going to we're going to make a, a strong uh, effort to bring all our guys back. I think that's a better way of saying it. So um, and Austin obviously is included in that. You mentioned the, the analytics, you know, paying attention when you all the time, whether you want to or not. A lot of people would argue Austin analytically better in mm -hmm. that position. I mean, I, I seem to disagree. What, what do you think he does that maybe the numbers do or don't show? Well, defense uh, alone. Like, it's funny. I don't know if his defensive numbers show up great. Uh, but ask any coach in the league what they think about him defensively. And and they'll tell you. Um, you know, and offensively, he's clearly improved as the year went on. So um, I'm going to say this again. Uh, at the numbers we're signing guys, find the guys at those numbers. So I think, again, what you guys do is so easy. Well, we can get a better three. At the minimum, you can. Go find one. You, you know what I mean? So, it, of course, we can get a better three if we have $15 million to spend. Uh, so if you look at each of our guys, look at their contract, and go find a guy and match, it, match the guy to their contracts. And you may find one of 30 teams. So when you look at it th that way, tell me who we have that we could have done better. That's the argument for Austin, for Wesley, for you know even Jeff Green at his number. And that's what I, that would be my argument. Um, of course, we can find um, we can find you know maybe we can get the best point guard in the league to back us up. But give me the twenty million to do it. So you know that's the point I make. Like go find someone. Tell me who they are before you make the comments. Is there a, a you know, kind of part of you that? somebody throws a like, big pile of money at Austin, it makes it harder for you to come back or just because it would be beneficial to him? or No, I want to keep him? Austin. It'd be great. So, um, no, not really. <laughs> why, why would I want that? You know? Well, just, you know, good for his you know, financial future or something like that. Yeah, like, I don't think, I, I think that a lot of people think I, I want it because it justifies. We could care less what everybody else thinks, clearly, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Austin's always going to be a target because he's my son. He's such an easy target, you know. Um, I don't think uh, if you watch them play, especially the second half of this year, if you still have questions about it, then it's personal towards father-son. It's not – you clearly don't have a basketball eye. That's what I would say. And the same thing uh, with Wesley and all of our guys, Cole. You know, Cole signed a minimum contract. You know, go find another backup big. You know, I keep hearing we need a backup big. Find me a backup big that was better than Cole this year. You know, uh, it was phenomenal for us. And unfortunately, with the deals that we have, it, it is what it is. And that's what we have to do. So I don't want anyone to get big deals, but I want them all to do well, I guess is, is, <laughs> right. is what I'm saying. So I hope they all make a lot of money. I hope they all somehow make it here. I just don't know how that's going to happen. Rock, how much do you think Austin improved his stock just – around the league and, you know, his reputation after what happened in game six. You know, I don't know. Um, I mean, I thought his play was better than his eye, <laughs> you know, for me. Uh, um, it, it's funny, during the game, I, it's, I'm just so focused on the game. I didn't realize what he, you know, I didn't see it. Like, and then, honestly, I said it after the game when I was sitting there talking to the team and you see him, then you realize, Jesus, you know, but – it's it's funny how blinded coaches are. Like during the game, I was yelling at JP the trainer, like, "Where the hell is Austin?" You know, when he was back there, and it, I thought the doctors were taking forever to do it. I didn't know what they were doing. Uh, and then when he came out, I I didn't I looked at his eye, but I just said, "You ready?" And then he went out and played. And I think because of the way he was playing, I wasn't thinking about his eye. And then after the game, obviously, I mean, when you look at it now, you think, "Wow." Um, don't know if I would have done that or could have done that. So that was good. It was good for him, but that's who he is. I mean, he's a, that's what makes him good. It's, 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 the, and it's not just his defense. It's just his toughness. It's, it's a good trait to have in our league. It's a trait you better have. We want to be good. We know your thoughts as a coach. What, was your, what were your thoughts as a father? You know, afterwards? Well, afterwards, I was very proud. You know, it was, uh, you know, uh, more, I guess, the next day because of all the texts and calls, you know, and, 
you know, you got the, you got a lot of, I got a lot of calls from other coaches around the league. And, you know, they'd even ask, they kept saying, your son, you know, and I thought, wow, that's cool. What did your wife think? Um, he's nuts, but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's typical uh, for, you know. She talking about you or Austin? She, probably both, <laughs> probably both, yeah. But, I mean, she didn't say that. She just, you know, she wanted to know how Austin was, really. She didn't ask about the game at all. It's all about, you know, how's my son?